Today I will show you how to do multiple sequence alignment using a hypothetical protein. And this is my hypothetical protein. It has 1013 amino acids. And it is a transmembrane protein. So what we will do now is to run BLAST and just click BLAST. And here is the BLAST result. And what we will do now is to click on taxonomy reports and below are the organisms report and here for example you can see that there are two matches the top hit is the closest match in this organism so what we will do is to copy the top accession number and also with other organisms that you would like to, to compare with for your multiple alignment and copy them into a Word document. And here are the seven organisms that I randomly choose. And what we will do is to copy and put this here in NCBI and search. And here you can see the seven organisms that I chose and click display setting and get the fast day format and click apply and you have here all the fast day sequences of these organisms but then um, you can also do like this click on fast day text and apply and then you have this and copy them and paste it here and you can edit this you can actually remove this and just replace it with Homo sapiens. And also with the second one, just remove this thing. And you can just leave it here like this. And here are the FASTA sequences. And then what we will do is to copy paste them in Clostal Omega. You can find Clostal Omega via Google. Just type Clostal Omega and it will lead you to this site. Copy and paste it here. And since it's a protein, then you will click a protein. And I know I'm going to use Clostal with, um, yeah, just this one. And then simply click submit. And you need to wait for the results. And um, here is the result. And you can also do show colors. And since we edited this one, and this, and the rest of the organisms, so you can see it here clearly, the name of the organisms. So it does not have here numbers and numbers and numbers. 
So what you can do is if you want to get the phylogenetic tree, then simply click phylogenetic tree. And here you have it, the cladogram. And yeah, that's all about it. And thanks for watching my video and see you next time.